Yeah, it was a difficult day. We, when we first went out, there was a, a nice bit of breeze, but I think just with the conditions, it was softening off over time. We saw a small delay just uh, at the beginning, uh, postponement. I think they were hoping that the breeze was going to build a little with, um, with the land heating up, but it didn't happen, but they made the decision to set us off. So there was about five, four or five knots of breeze, which is really hard to get the boats going. Um, yeah, we didn't quite get the boat pointing in the right direction uh, at the start, so not the best of starts. And yeah, the, diff the course was quite skewed, you know, normally we have um, a dead reach out and back and it was quite, d you know, downwind with a, a big shift in the breeze, so uh, very different to what we've seen in previous imports. Um, but yeah, eventually we, we all made it round. <laughs> It's a real cocktail of emotions. I think it's, uh, you know it's ending, but you, you don't want it to end in a way. Um, you know, it's, it's had some massive highs and some massive lows. And I think it takes a while to sort of, you know, decompress and sort of realize what you have achieved and, you know, to look back on the positives and, yeah. Um, but I, as I've learned before from doing this race, it's really important to have a, a next step because it's very hard, or sorry, it's very easy to fall into a big hole uh, because this has been so much of our lives, you know, with the team, day in, day out, uh, you know, and, and with the greater ocean race community, you know, the, the tribe that we are, you, you become one big happy family. So, uh, yeah, it's really important to have a something to go to and I think for me that will be spending time with family and just uh, yeah getting some good quality sleep and catching up on what I've missed for the last few months. For me it's the challenge it's always a challenge about pushing yourself mentally physically and the Amoka has been the new challenge for me.